Hey guys, this is Dr. Ezra with Integrative Kidney Solutions and today I'm going to be talking to you about sleep and kidney health. Do you have trouble falling asleep at night? Do you wake up in the middle of the night and have trouble going back to sleep? Do you wake up in the morning earlier than intended on a regular basis? Do you wake up in the morning not feeling, not feeling refreshed or uh, uh, rested? Do you uh, have problem? Have you ever been told that you have problem with sleep uh, apnea? Uh, do you feel uh, excessively sleepy during the day? I feel like I'm sounding like a salesman, but really uh, these issues, if you have many of these issues, you really have problem with sleep and sleep has been linked to uh, problem with kidney health. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the link between sleep and kidney disease and, uh, and why uh, it is important that we get our sleep and how, what we can do to improve our sleep quality. Uh, so let's do this. So before we talk about this, let's talk about the scale of the problem. Um, the, in many studies have been done on this and actually it was found that the, the prevalence of, kid, uh, of sleep problems in kidney patients is uh, very, very uh, high. And uh, the, 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 the studies found uh, ranges between 31% and 57%. And if you actually include sleep apnea in uh, the sleep uh, disorders that have been studied in kidney disease, almost 94% of kidney patients have problems with their sleep at night. And insomnia is the most common uh, sleep disorder and insomnia is defined as problem initiating or maintaining a sleep for more than three days a week for a duration of more than a month to a degree that is actually starting to affect your uh, work or, or uh, daily activity during the day. But why sleep is so important? Actually, many studies that looked into sleep disorder, especially uh, insomnia, and it found that sleep lead to uh, decrease in work performance, uh, at, uh, work or study uh, performance. So whether you're at work or school, uh, having trouble asleep sleep uh, can lead to uh, problem concentrating and can also uh, uh, improve your, uh, decrease your reaction time. So uh, this has been linked to a higher rate of motor vehicle accident. Uh, sleep has also been linked to depression and anxiety and substance abuse. And more recently, uh, sleep also, sleep problems has been linked to diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. And when you ask about sleep, there are several questions that comes to mind. I'm not going to go over them uh, in details today, but it really talks about the duration of sleep uh, in 24 hours, when do you fall asleep, the quality of sleep. We have a questionnaire that we developed specifically for sleep and kidney health, and also some tips about uh, how to improve sleep uh, quality. Uh, we're going to leave a link for this in the uh, uh, comment section below uh, for you to, to learn about it, and, uh, and hopefully that will help you improve your sleep. But when you talk about sleep, we need to know what are the things that we do in our lifestyle that affect our sleep uh, or, or what are the sleep disruptors that I call them? Uh, and the number one that comes to mind is toxins. And um, really sleep is very important for the detox uh, process. Many of our nerve cells uh, detoxify during sleep and sleep wake cycle has been actually linked to uh, improvement in uh, or adequate sleep has been linked to improvement in liver detoxification process. But on the other side, Many toxins that we get exposed to, such as arsenic, polyalkyl, uh, uh, polyfluoroalkyl substances, uh, phthalate, has been linked to disrupt our sleep and uh, cause uh, cramps at night and, and, and really causing us to have uh, inadequate sleep. And number two, nutrient deficiencies. And uh, the, the most important one for these is vitamin D. 
We talk a lot about vitamin D and how important it is, but uh, vitamin D deficiency has been linked to disruption with sleep. Uh, and uh, the second most important thing is ma making sure that uh, you avoid sugary uh, food and maintaining good uh, uh, sugar balance in your body. Uh, number three, uh, tryptophan deficiency. Tryptophan is uh, a precursor for serotonin and melatonin, so we need to have adequate tryptophan to, to produce these um, uh, important hormones and, and uh, substances. Uh, vitamin B6 is also important for uh, sleep. Um, and finally, there's my, many micronutrients, uh, micronutrient deficiency that has been linked to disruption of sleep, such as zinc deficiency and magnesium deficiency. And also, medications and alcohol play an important role in disrupting sleep. And guys, we wrote a blog about this, so I really encourage you to look at the blog in details to see uh, what medications are specific that can cause a problem with sleep. Uh, we're not going to have time in this short video to talk about all the details. And finally, there are many, many uh, biological factors that uh, affect our uh, sleep. Uh, some of this are related to stress, for example, and uh, the uh, and this is probably uh, is mediated by the HPA axis, the hip, uh, hypothalamus pituitary adrenal uh, uh, axis, uh, and uh, through cortisol, for example. Um, the other uh, aspects are our genes ourselves. Some, there are some genes that have been linked to problem with sleep and, and our sleep wake cycle, and the field of uh, chronotherapeutic actually is now. Uh, something that is uh, important in, 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 in terms of uh, when it's time to take drugs or nutrients um, to, uh, according to our uh, genetic uh, profile. So how does sleep or poor sleep affect kidney health? There are two major ways that uh, poor sleep affect kidney uh, health. One is uh, indirectly and the other one is directly. So indirectly, the uh, poor sleep, as we mentioned uh, before, uh, increased the uh, insulin resistance and uh, actually has been linked to leading to excessive eating and obesity and the development of diabetes. And uh, sleep also has been, or poor sleep has been also linked to uh, elevated blood pressure. And as we know, diabetes and blood pressure are two major risk factors for the development of kidney disease. But directly, uh, sleep problems has been linked to uh, poor uh, response to the, uh, in the sympathetic, parasympathetic system, the fight or flight uh, reaction that we have th uh, that uh, take into effect during sleep. In, uh, if we have good sleep, our blood pressure and, and the uh, parasympathetic system take over and uh, our blood pressure will go down. Uh, but if you have trouble sleeping, that doesn't happen, and we have activation of the sympathetic system, and uh, that can lead to damage to the kidneys. In addition, sleep problems have been linked to actually activation of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone uh, system that we talked about uh, in previous videos, and that also has been linked to, um, to faster progression of kidney disease. Finally, uh, sleep, and especially sleep apnea, has been linked to uh, inflammation and uh, oxidative stress, and, and that leads to also kidney problems and development of uh, and worsening of kidney disease. So, uh, in bottom line, sleep is important, and uh, we have tips in, uh, in the link below uh, in this video. If you like this video, make sure you uh, press the like button and uh, comment below. We'd like to hear your feedback. Uh, please follow us uh, on Instagram at integrative kidney uh, or at www.inkidney.com.